Okay, imagine this. You've had a long day. You're ready to take a bath. You run that bath, you lay in the tub, and then you get electrocuted. This is real. In the early 1920s and 1930s, there was something called the bathtub tragedy here in the United States. There's no way to actually tell how many people died during this bathtub tragedy, but so many people died as a result of poor electrical equipment that it became so widespread and actually prompted change for the way we do all of our electrical equipment in homes these days. Be grateful today that you are not getting electrocuted while taking a bath, but there are some other things that you should know about taking baths and some other things that could go wrong. Hey, do you wanna know why there was such poor hygiene during the Middle Ages? Turns out people thought that you could actually catch the plague if you took a bath together. So it prompted all of this really unhygienic behavior. In the 1800s, people also used to bathe in milk because they thought it would do good for the skin. And in the 19th century, people took these medicinal baths. And so they'd put things in the bath like beer, vinegar, sulfur, anything that they thought could cure certain ailments. But here's the deal. We don't live in the 18th, 19th, or even 20th century anymore. So we face some other problems when it comes to taking a bath. Now, granted, depending on your age, these are probably not common, but here are all the things that could go wrong in the bathtub. For starters, you could slip and fall. You could also get burns on your skin if the water's too hot. How many of you have had that happen? Prolonged immersion in a bathtub could actually give you hypothermia, so watch out there. And could cause you to get pretty dehydrated. And if that wasn't bad enough, you could also drown and catch some pretty nasty bacterial and fungal infections in that water. Nasty. How many of you stay in the bath way too long and get those pruny fingers? Do you know why that's happening? When our fingers are immersed in water, for extended periods of time, that outer layer actually absorbs all that water and then swells up. As the skin swells, the spaces between the cells in the outer layer of the skin become larger and then the skin wrinkles. Anyway, I feel like taking a bath, so be sure to subscribe and check out some other interesting videos.